let's look at designing a quick movement prep program specifically for your client based off of their overhead squat assessment. From the lateral view, we're going to look at the arms falling forward. So what we want from the client, as they're squatting, they should be able to maintain their arms directly above their head or in line with their torso. One of the common movement compensations is they start to fall forward. So what we'll do with Claire here, we're going to set her up with her five kinetic chain checkpoints. The feet are going to be pointed straight ahead, about hip width apart. Knees are in proper alignment in between the second and third toe. Neutral position there with the hips. With the arms, we'll go ahead and reach all the way overhead. So what we'll notice here is she already has a little bit of a tough time getting her arms up, so that may very likely be a compensation. We're going to have her perform three to five squats down to the height of about a normal chair. So as soon as you're ready, go ahead and squat at your pace. Very good and we'll perform a couple more. What we'll immediately start to notice there is how they start to come forward. And we'll have her do one more here. And when you come up, just pause, hold that position. So if we hold here, notice how her arms are not in the same position we asked her to start. They have migrated forward. So now we'll move on, you can go and relax. So now we'll move on to the foam rolling portion of our program. For this, we're going to foam roll the thoracic spine and the lats. So let's begin with the thoracic spine. We'll position the foam roller here on the ground. We'll ask Claire to come down into a supine position. The foam roller will be positioned just below the shoulder blades. Hands are going to come up to support your head. And let's hold the ponytail out of the way. You want to be sure that you don't steamroll yourself. Feet, knees, hips, everything's aligned properly here. She's going to raise her hips and now slowly begin to roll by bringing your body down. Foam roller rolls about an inch per second. We're rolling to the top of the shoulder blades but not onto the neck. Identify what is the most tender spot to you and hold on that position. Be sure you breathe, try to relax. We're holding for 20 to 30 seconds or until that tenderness starts to reduce. After that time, you can go ahead and relax and now we'll move on to foam roll your lat. So to transition, we'll roll right onto your side and we'll position this right there on the side of the shoulder blade, the portion of the lat. Notice the leg here is crossed over. The side that we're rolling, the hand is outreached overhead, or if for some reason your neck becomes tired, you can bend the elbow to support your head. Now from here, you're going to be in a slow roll, just slowly rolling yourself up. Again, we're searching for a tender spot. When you identify one, stop and hold on that position. Be sure you take in big, deep breaths. We're going to hold for 20 to 30 seconds or until that tenderness starts to reduce. As soon as that time's up, you would go ahead and relax here and repeat on the other side. Then we would go ahead and progress on to our static lat stretch. Here we're going to come into a quadruped position. The knees will be directly underneath the hips, begin with the arms underneath the shoulders, and then she's going to extend the arm to be stretched up onto an object. We're going to use the foam roller here. If you wanted to use a plyo box or a stability ball, that also works great. Keep the elbow here extended, and then slowly start to set the hips back just trying to take the lat here to the first point of tension. That's the position you hold. Remember that first point of tension may be some mild discomfort, but it should not be painful. We're going to relax here and hold this position for 30 seconds. When that time is up, you would go ahead and relax and repeat the same stretch on the other side. Then we would move on to our core stabilization. The first move we're going to do in our core stabilization is a prone plank. This is going to help activate some of those deep core muscles, which is great to help stabilize the upper body. So we'll come down to where the elbows are positioned directly below the shoulders. The feet are going to be hip width apart. She's going to engage the quadriceps, engage the glutes. Notice how she's maintaining a neutral position here. Also notice the position here of her shoulders. She's in a nice protracted position. That's a great opportunity to develop that stabilization needed there for the shoulders. And notice how her neck and head is also in a neutral position. She's going to hold this for approximately 20 seconds. You can go ahead and relax. Now we're going to move on to our prone cobra. So she's going to come into a full prone position all the way down onto the ground. She's going to line up feet, knees and hips in proper alignment. Notice how the toes are curled up. She's going to press into the floor there slightly. Engage the quadriceps, engage the glutes. Draw in here to maintain a neutral position there. 
And then our motion is simply going to be to squeeze the shoulder blades. And I want you to imagine that you're sliding the shoulder blades down into your back pockets. So we're retracting and depressing. Hold that for one, two. Now down for four, three, two, one. Perfect, back up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Neutral position here with the neck. Head's neutral as well, that looks great. We hold for one, two, down for four, three, two, one. And again, we will retract and depress the scapula. Hold for one, two, she's maintaining neutral here. Lower for four, three, two, one. You can go ahead and relax there. You would repeat that 12 to 20 times, maintaining that slow tempo. Now we'll move on to our balance stabilization. Now from here, five kinetic chain checkpoints. The feet are going to be nice and straight, knees are aligned, hips are neutral, shoulders are back and down. So we'll have Claire shift her weight onto her left leg. And I want her to come down into a slight squat. So remember that's going to challenge her balance threshold, which is the place where she can barely hold proper form. Now since our compensation here is the arms falling forward, as she's maintaining this position, we're going to add in a scaption raise for the upper body. So from here, with the elbows locked out, I want you to think of this motion starting from the shoulder blades as you reach up at about a 45 degree angle to about shoulder height. Notice that left leg there is still in perfect form. And now let's lower for four, three, two, one. And again, let's come up using those muscles to pull the shoulder blades up. So that's upward rotation there for the shoulder blades. Stabilization comes from the core. Down for four, three, two, one. And again, we'll reach up, perfect form. Hold for one, two. If you ever lose your balance, feel free to tap the toe down. That's quite all right. Lower down for four, three, two, one. And you would repeat that eight to 10 times on each leg. Now we'll move on to our reactive stabilization. So for our reactive stabilization, our goal here is to optimize landing mechanics. Every time you land, you're going to hold for three to five seconds. This time gives you an opportunity to tell your body what the proper form is. So if you land with your feet out and your knees in, then just pull your, knee, your feet and knees into proper alignment, hold for three to five seconds, and then repeat. So we'll begin with the feet about hip width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, knees nice and aligned, and we'll go ahead and jump, soft landing, fix the feet, hold for three, two, one, and repeat. Be sure the feet are aligned, knees are aligned, shoulders are relaxed and back, hold for three, two, one, and repeat. And you can go ahead and relax, perfect job. You would go ahead and repeat that for about eight to 10 times. Once you repeat the reactive stabilization, you can go back through that entire program one to three times, or you're now prepared to go ahead and move on to the resistance portion of your training program.